Hi guys, I'm Glenn of Brain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, I'm going to unbox this um, Yihua 952D Plus Hot Air Slash Soldering SMD Rework Station. I bought this from Lazada and um, it came from China. And from China, it, sent, it was sent to Philippines. And from Philippines, it was sent to here. So included in the box is this operation instruction, but the content uh, is all right written in uh, Chinese, and this thing too is written in Chinese, so I don't have much use for these uh, papers. There are actually some English uh, text in here okay so let's see what's inside there yeah, we have this um, a uh, soldering station and this is the soldering uh, iron and we have this Okay, we have some tips for the hot air and the hot air controller or the um, the device itself is attached already to the machine so let's begin and unbox this main unit I didn't expect that it could be this uh, huge. Uh, from the picture, it looks small, but in uh, person and uh, in uh, actual, it's a uh, big. And um, it doesn't feel and look like uh, it's a cheap uh, product. So let's just remove this plastic first and see what's underneath it. Body is made of metal frame and it has a handle on top which is uh, which you know with rocks when you release it. Okay, this is the uh, holes that is permanently attached to the body, so let's just remove the plastic first. This is where the hot air is coming from, and then it's going through. Okay. This hose kind of feel, feels like uh, it's rubbery and um, doesn't feel like it's plastic. And here's the uh, soldering iron. So it comes with a small tip. To be honest, it feels like uh, this part here, this um, soldering iron, feels like uh, cheap, but not sure yet. So we're gonna try it and test it anyway. So it's the 907A, and uh, there's uh, like five holes in here that matches the connector, the port. You won't uh, fit it in if you don't align the holes together with the port, so it's it's easy to plug anyway. 
So here is its uh, rest. Uh, this is the station for that soldering irons where you can set it, rest it if it's uh, if you're not using it. Just put it in there. Now this is the um, what the uh, socket for the hot air. You can put it on the left side or on the right side, but for the time being, I'm going to install it uh, to the left side. Just unscrew these two screwdriver, uh, two screws here. So it's up to you how you would wish to align it, but the orientation is uh, the same for every uh, model. The the uh, hot air hold uh, this hot air holder should be able to hold this uh, hot air up. So when you're not using it, it's resting on the top of on the side of this machine. So the plug is a U type, so it has the three pin. And it has a switch at the back. This is the main switch to cut off the power if you don't want to use the switch in front. Okay, so I'm gonna I'll open this uh, case here and let's see what's uh, inside of this um, wonderful machine. So this is the inside part and then this is the front side. So those panels are connected via these wires here and then this um, PCB here and um, it's pretty clean and neat and you don't find any residual flux this main big thing here is uh, or this wire here is the, the fuse and it's connected to the switch so the main switch, so, so I think this thing is safe. And this is the main motor pump for the hot air, and it goes there and comes out through that hose. Um, this, this is the ground. Uh, so there's a fuse at the back. So you don't have to worry about um, power surge which could damage your, this nice machine. Okay, these switches are for the hot air and for the um, soldering iron. So there you go, that's the inside of this thing. So let's close this up and put the screws back in. So there you go, this is the complete form of this um, station. This is the front side. You have this really nice and long hose that doesn't come short when you're working on it. Now we're going to test the functions of the hot air and the soldering iron this is the off 
switch so that's how it looks like when it's off no lights on the LED now you turn it on and you'll immediately see the flashing lights on the LED so if you turn the first switch that's for the hot air and the second switch is for the um, soldering iron so for now we're gonna flip the switch the air control to the lowest switch this off turn on the um, hot air by default it's still showing 100 degrees centigrade or celsius and once you turn the knob for its uh, temperature control it immediately uh, raises up if you turn it up So this thing doesn't have a um, automatic shut off for hot air. It is constantly running, so it's up to you to turn the air off or switch it off when you're not using it. So this second switch here is for the hot uh, soldering iron, and as you can see, if I put it into 326, it's, it is immediately hot. So I'm going to test this um, soldering iron at 320 degrees Celsius and as you can see it's really hot, it's fast acting and unlike my soldering iron, the previous one, it takes a while before it gets really hot. So, But this thing is like there, bam. Once you set it, it's fast acting and it's really hot. So, it cuts the waiting time down to a few seconds there as you can see it's still <laughs> it's still very hot even though I, I lowered down the temperature already now I'm going to test for its hot air function I'm going to apply a few flux on this lead here on this part here just to make sure that the heat will be applied evenly So the airflow is set to 6 and the temperature is around 360 Celsius. Yeah, as you can see, it's melting already. Let's switch this off now because we're not going to use it anymore. As you can see, the soldering tip is still hot after, even after we have turned it off. Okay, guys, that would be all for the UR952D+. Uh, once again, this is a good machine. This is a good buy. So uh, It's worth your money. So I suggest that you also buy this if you don't have enough money to buy for those uh, top-of-the-line uh, soldering station yet Thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day. Please subscribe to my vlog